Hey guys, how you doing? Hope you are all having a great Tuesday and great beginning of your work week. Last week's video was on my video recording setup and audio and stuff like that. Um, I'm Right now I'm using my lav mic, which is recording on my cell phone, and the program that I'm using is called, I didn't mention this, this is why I'm bringing it up, Rec Forge Lite, and it is, <clears throat> it's free, this is an Android phone. Um, it's this the, the app is free and then I also used a free app on my iPhone and it was called I think it was called voice recorder pro it's been a while since I had that phone uh, voice recorder pro and it was also free both of them did a great job and that's uh, pretty much it now uh, comparing these two mics I didn't really compare them what, what my thoughts were on them the microphone on the road the road video mic pro on my camera sounds a heck of a lot better with quality listening devices. So if I'm talking into this one, it sounds better when I'm listening on my headphones. When I'm listening on my headphones, this one doesn't really sound that great. It sounds muffled and toned down. When I'm listening on a lower quality audio uh, device like my phone speaker or the cheapo Logitech speakers I have on my computer, then the lav mic sounds better. So for whatever that's worth, um, they have their advantages and disadvantages of each, and the sound quality is, is a lot different. Now, you can do some post-production editing on um, of any one of them, actually, but on this lav mic um, <clears throat> to make it a little bit more crisp and sound a little bit less muffled. But I figured I'd throw that out there because I did not mention it, and let me get back to my notes and see what else I need to talk about. The echo in here, yeah, it's kind of echoey. I haven't really put much effort into it at all getting rid of the echo it's not really a deal breaker and like i said this lav mic cuts a lot of it out um <clears throat> but one of the things that i've planned on doing is insulating my garage door that should muffle a little bit of the echo uh but i just haven't gotten around to doing it yet so that's definitely on the agenda and um, some other people mentioned some acoustic panels in the ceiling um <clears throat> i haven't really looked into it so i don't know uh, i don't really want to put much I don't really want to put much time and effort invested, time, money, and effort invested into it uh, because it's really not a huge deal breaker for me. A notable mention for camera audio, uh, John Heiss built a very DIY, very inexpensive uh, microphone to go on top of his camera and it sounds great and it was like less than $5 if I'm not mistaken. It was super cheap for him to make. Uh, so I'll post the link to that if some if any of you guys are out there are interested in it uh, I had already purchased this one oh, probably for over a year uh, Before I found that one. So uh, it's a good alternative without spending a lot of money One of the coolest aspects of this online community and interacting with so many people is the fact that I can interact with fellow content creators and uh, I talk to um, Matt Matt Cremona and Nick Ferry quite frequently and we were in a hangout the other night and um I don't know how the topic got brought up, but uh, somehow we ended up talking about Q&As and whatever. So I guess we're going to do like a three-person Q&A. We're just going to hang out one night and uh, go over some questions that uh, you guys may have. So if you have any type of questions for myself, Nick Ferry, or Matt Cremona, uh, leave them down below. But help me out just a little bit and write Q&A right before your comment if that's something that you want us to us to answer together on this Q&A thing. It's just gonna be a recorded video or something we'll just throw up on, oh, I don't know whose channel we'll throw it up on. Maybe all of our channels, I don't know. Uh, but we just figured, hey, why not do a little Q&A and talk about some stuff. So uh, help us out with some questions and we'll figure out when we can get this done and thrown up there and all that good stuff. I haven't talked about stickers in a little while. I am completely out of my stickers, so if you're uh, sending me a stamped envelope to send one back to you, please halt on that. And um, maybe in two or three months or so, I'll have some different stickers. Uh, but they're not going to be of this logo. So basically, anyone who's had this particular sticker, um, I guess well, I guess you could say it's a limited edition sticker. So I'm not going to have any more of those. The beginning of 2016, I'm going to change my logo quite a bit because this is just crazy difficult to work with on some stuff. And I've um, never, ever, ever had a high resolution image of it or a vector file for that matter. So, uh, yeah, new stickers sometime 2016. I don't have any of the, the old ones anymore. 
Uh, but I do have quite a bit of stickers to put up, maybe on the cabinet, but I'm going to start putting them on this little rolly cabinet. So that's all I got for you guys today. Take care, and let's put some stickers up on the second black metal cabinet.